Here's a Pioneer Fire TV. I'm going to show you how to perform a factory reset without using the remote. Okay, what we're going to simply be using is the button on the TV itself. So first thing you want to do is locate where your power button is. Now on my Pioneer Fire TV, mine is over here on the left side of the TV and I can see that little button right here. If yours is not here, check under here. Check all through here. Also check on the bottom here and also on the left side up there all on the side. You got to find that power button. Okay, so let's go ahead and perform a factory reset. Okay, so I know where my power button is. My power button is here on the left hand side. So first thing we're going to do is unplug the TV from the outlet. We're going to pull the plug just like this. Now next thing we're going to do is the power button. We're going to press and hold and we're not going to let go of that power button. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press and hold power button now. I'm holding it in. Now I'm going to plug my TV back in while I'm holding on to the power button, okay? So I'm still holding on to this power button, and I'm going to wait for the Fire TV logo to appear. Then I'm going to let go of the power button, okay? So I'm still holding. There's the uh, logo. Now let go of the power button, and give it one second, and it should boot us up into the uh, Android recovery menu. So give this one second here. Voila. So we are here in the Android recovery menu. Now what we want to do to perform, to perform the factory reset, don't forget guys, with a factory reset, you're blowing everything out of here. All your information, it's, uh, it's going to be erased. Once we're doing the factory reset, it's going to be at the very beginning where you have to do the setup process. You have to choose your language and all that good stuff, okay? So anyway, we want to go down to here where it says white data slash factory reset. So how do you do that? With the power button. So my power button is here over here on the left. So I'm just going to tap it tap it again and now I'll highlight white data slash factory reset. Now if I want to select it, what I have to do is press and hold the power button this time. So I'm going to press and hold and then I'll wait for the blue to change colors. Okay, so ready to go. Press and hold. Now it changes the green. Now I'm going to let go. Now I'm over here. This is basically saying that once you do this, this cannot be undone. So if you want to proceed with the factory reset, we need to go down here where it says uh, it highlight yes. Okay, so how you do that? Just tap the power button once. Oops. Tap it. There we go. Now we got to select it. So what we're going to do is press and hold the power button. Ready to go. Press and hold. And this blue changes color to green. Now let go of the power button. And now let's go ahead and let it do its thing. This whole pro. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. This. Uh, once we're done that, this uh, this up here gets automatically highlighted. Reboot system now is what we want. So just select it. Just press and hold. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold. This changes color. Go ahead and let go. And now let it, let it go ahead and do its thing. This whole process is probably going to take about three minutes or so. And voila. There we go. And now from here, you just got to go back and select your language and whatnot. Now, my remote's automatically paired. If yours is not paired, just the home button is right here. Just press and hold the um, home button for like 10 seconds and then let go and then see if it is paired. Okay, good luck guys.